a boat capsized and sank in a lake, based on an assumption of a mean weight of 147 pounds, the boat was rated to carry 50 passengers, so the load limit was 7,350 pounds. After the boat sank, the assumed mean weight for similar boats was changed from 147 pounds to 174 pounds. Complete parts A and B below. In part A it says, assume that a similar boat is loaded with 50 passengers and assume that the weights of people are normally distributed with a mean of 180.2 pounds and a standard deviation of 35.3 pounds. Find the probability that the boat is overloaded because the 50 passengers have a mean weight greater than 147 pounds. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're, according to the central limit theorem, the distribution of the sample means will have a mean given by the following and the standard deviation. And so in the question it says it's normally distributed. So let's go ahead and first draw a picture. Okay, so we're going to draw and sketch our diagram. Okay, so we're going to draw our bell curve. Okay, and then we know the mean is given. The mean of the sample means is given to be 182. 180.2 pounds. Okay, and they're telling us that the standard deviation is given to be 35.3 pounds. And it says find the probability that the boat is overloaded because the 50 passengers have a mean weight greater than 147. Well, 147 is to the left of the mean, so x is going to equal over here 147. And then we want to find the probability or the area of the value of 147 to the right. So now what we want to do is we want to figure out what is that z-score. So to determine that z-score, we're going to write down the given information. Okay, so in step two, to find the z-score, we know the value of x is equal to 147. We know that the mean of the sample means is 180.2. We know that the boat is loaded with 50 passengers, so n is going to equal 50. And then the standard deviation of the sample means is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. And then we know that the standard deviation is 35.3. So we have 35.3, and then we're dividing that by the square root of 50. Okay, so let's go ahead and then solve to find the z-score. Okay, so the z-score formula is equal to x minus the mean of the sample means divided by the standard deviation of the sample means. So we know we're going to get 147 minus 180.2 and then we're going to divide that by parentheses 35.3 divided by the square root of 50. Okay, so let's plug this into our calculator so we can determine the z-score. So we have parentheses 147 minus 180 0.2, and then we're going to divide that in parentheses, 35.3, and then we're dividing that by the square root of 50, and then putting that in parentheses, and that gives us a z-score of negative 6.65 rounded to two decimal places, so we have negative 6.65. Okay, so now when we look at the z-axis, we know that the mean now is 0, and the z-score that's associated with 147 is negative 6.65. And so what we want to do is find the probability of when that z-score is going to be greater than or equal to negative 6.65. So let's go ahead and open up StatCrunch to determine that. So 
over here we have stack crunch okay and we want to find the z-score is greater than negative 6.65 so we're going to go to stat select calculators and go all the way down to normal we know that our mean is zero our standard deviation is one and we want to make sure the inequality now is pointed to the right so it's greater than the z-score of negative 6.65 and then we get one which is the same thing as 1.0000 so we would say that the probability is 1.0000. There is our result. Okay, now it says the boat was later rated to carry only 14 passengers and the load limit was changed to 2,436 pounds. Find the probability that the boat is overloaded because the mean weight of the passengers is greater than 174 so that their total weight is greater than the maximum capacity of 2,436 pounds. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and draw our picture so we know what our bell curve is going to look like. Okay, so remember what was our mean well, the mean again from part A is 180.2. And we also know that the standard deviation is 35.3. Okay, and now it says that we want to see the mean weight, the probability of when the mean weight of the passengers is greater than 174. So here we're going to say that x is equal to 174 and then what we want to be able to do is find the area shaded to the right so now we want to be able to find that z-score so x is equal to 174 we know the mean of the sample means is 180.2. We know the value of n represents 14 passengers, so n is equal to 14. And then the standard deviation of the sample means is the formula with the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So that means we have 35.3 divided by the square root of 14. So now let's go ahead and then use our z-score formula which is x minus the mean of the sample means divided by the standard deviation of the sample means. So we have 174 minus 180.2, and then we're dividing that by 35.3 divided by the square root of 14. So let's go ahead and put that in our calculator. So in the numerator, we have 174 minus 180.2 and then we're dividing that by 35.3 divided by the square root of 14 and then we're going to round that to two decimal places so we're going to get negative 0 0.66 so when we want to draw our z-axis we now know that the mean is going to equal zero and now this z-score for 174 is represented by the number negative 0.66 and so in step number three we want to use stack crunch to find the probability of when z is going to be greater than or equal to negative 0.66 so let's go ahead and put that into stack crunch so we know the mean is zero, the standard deviation is one. We want to make sure it says greater than or equal to, and now we're going to put in negative 0.66. And that gives us a probability, when I round it to four decimal places, to be 0 0.7454. So 0 0.7454. Let's go ahead and put that in there. 0 0.7454. And then that is our area or our probability.
Now it says, do the new ratings appear to be safe when the boat is loaded with 14 passengers? So if the probability of overloading the boat is high, then the new ratings do not appear to be safe. In this case here, we have 0 0.7454, which is equivalent to 74.54%. So we would say that because there is a high probability of overloading, the new ratings do not appear to be safe when the boat is loaded with 14 passengers. So we're going to select A.